Welcome back to Waz a Day. Where I was today is Earhart, a 1986 release from Broderbund here, running on the Apple II and MAME. Nice little title screen, I'll let it run through. From Dan Gorlin Productions. Legend tells of an ancient child, a princeling born in a land defiled. Asleep he waits the hero of lore, what shall be has been before. Alright. Little uh, demo mode here, I think. Yeah, this is Airheart. It's a nice little uh, 3D action game on the Apple II here. Uh, I really like the style of this game. Uh, apparently this was also later ported to the Atari ST and Amiga in a deluxe version under a different name as uh, Typhoon Thompson in Search for the Sea Child. But let's get into Airheart here and see what it's all about. Got uh, Game.io Joy mapped for uh, joystick control and MAME. So that's us. Ah, we gotta bring them the sword, okay. So you gotta shoot one of these bubbles here and follow the follow the follow the light to find your objective. Uh, so you're using the joystick to control your little ship here. Uh, button the button one, as it's typically called, is uh, accelerate. And button two, or not button two, but button zero. Oh, that's not it. Well, that's a good way to demonstrate that you can die from the enemies. But uh, yeah, button button zero is shoot. So yeah, I should have been shooting there. Let's get back into it. I didn't lose much progress there. So down at the bottom also, you've got uh, your lives in the bottom left. Oh well, I should be uh, shooting one of these so I can get my uh, my lead on the uh, on the objective. All right. So I need to kill both these enemies, and then when you kill an enemy, you also need to collect this little pod afterwards. Otherwise, the enemy will respawn from it. But you have to kill both enemies in order to be able to get the objective out here. So let's see what this guy is. Uh, you can you can find the manual for this game. There's two scans of it on the Internet Archive. One of them is kind of good. One of them is kind of bad. Hopefully I can find my objective after this. I'm not sure. It's a little chaotic sometimes. Um, there we go. I think that's it. Okay. So I think we just bump into it. You do have a compass down there in the middle, which can kind of help. But I think if you get far enough away from your objective... Whoa. Okay. And jump in. Okay, our ship's going to come back. Okay, good. And we got the sword. Yeah, I think if you get far enough away from your objective, it can kind of get a little hard to find it again. Uh, and I think to get back, we just have to find anything else here. There, okay. I think we can bump into this and defeat some more enemies, and then that will give us... Give us a way to get back, to give the sword back. Oh, that's not it. Oh, no. I went right into the bad bubble. But yeah, so you have to collect a sword and two other objects, and then you can rescue the prince uh, and beat the game. I don't know if that that's what we're going to do here today, but uh, we'll see how far we can get. The graphics are really, really impressive for this, to be honest. I mean, a lot of the other games we've looked at have not looked anything like this. Or played anything like this. So this is a pretty good, pretty impressive achievement on the Apple II here. 
I also like the the completely weird style that this game is going for. Kind of like have explained fantasy setting, I like it. And the the graphics and animation are also extremely extremely well done. Alright, okay. Let's ram into this. Grab the sword, I think, yeah. Alright, so let's see if we can get the sword back to the the guardians. Are those guardians? Maybe if you tracked where you had uh, come from, you could just go directly back to them. But that's what not what I've been doing. Let's see. Okay, let's ram into this. I think you can shoot it too. If you want to? I think that that guy is just trying to bump me. All right. Okay. So I think this will give us like a little uh little course here at the end. Yep. So it's kind of the start of our course, and then we go down to where that green stuff is at the end. And if we collect all once we start collecting these green things here, uh some enemies are gonna spawn. And if we can collect all the green things uh before the enemies get us I think we get an extra life I don't know go for it yep they try to bounce you all right I think I, I think I think I got it I don't know if I get the life here Anyway, okay, here we are, back, uh, back again. Maybe that's, maybe I was mis misunderstanding something there. All right, here we go. Let's give him the sword. Maybe we'll get a life now. At the very least, we'll get a new objective. Oh yeah, we did get a life. Okay, we gotta get the goblet this time. All right, let's follow this. Yeah, it's interesting how uh, they've managed to make this work even with no kind of map system. So I think each objective is going to get harder. Okay, we got we got somebody propelling us here. That's never fun. Uh, I don't know where the pod went. Oh man. Yeah, that was that was it right there. So you get to see him respawn from the pod. Maybe I should get this thing that's repelling me first. I think it's this one over here. I can get close enough to shoot it. Oh man, I was so close to getting the pod, and then no such luck. Okay, turning also is. Uh, I feel like I've lost. Okay, is that where we were? I don't know. <laughs> okay, I think this is where we were. If I could get that thing that is repelling me, then that would make things so much easier. because it's making it kind of impossible to get the pods here. Shooting it is not doing it either, though. It's just bouncing it back. So maybe I have to get the other two first. The audio design is also actually surprisingly good because you can kind of locate where things are from audio, surprisingly, as I just discovered. Alright, let's see if we can get that pod. Oh man, the thing that's repelling me is just... Okay, there we go. Oh, maybe it's... Maybe it's something else that's repelling me. 
Nope, it's that. All right. Oh, it's so close to getting the pod. Feel like I'm making no progress here. Okay. Got one pod. Uh, now I don't know where the... Okay. <laughs> there we go. I say, I don't know where the, uh, the thing I was trying to get was. All right, let's get that. Okay. Controls take a little getting used to. Okay. Okay, finally got that bot. Okay. Oh no, no, I didn't. <laughs> Okay. Very important to get the pods, otherwise you're just wasting your time. Alright, okay. And now... Now the fun stuff begins. Oh, man. Ah, they got me. Yeah, once you get, uh, you know, up, up to this level, um... The last enemy will have like multiple pods. I gotta be, gotta be blasting my bubbles here. Uh, so if you don't get both those pods, you're back, you know, back to where you start started, fighting two enemies again. Uh, thankfully, it doesn't seem to like keep doing that. Like it's not gonna, not gonna give you, you know, exponentially expanding numbers of enemies or anything, but. Okay. Got that. Okay. So now, let's find our... Okay, that's what we're trying to get to. Okay. We just need to kill this guy and collect the two pods. I think if, I think they, I think if they jump on us, that's... Oh. Wait, what happened? That is... I just lose my ship, or... Okay, so maybe they knocked my... Maybe they destroyed my ship, not me. Okay. Yeah, you have two li life mechanics in this game. You have a, you have your ships and you have your lives. So your lives are in the bottom left, and your ships are kind of like the one... Uh, one uh, right next to the timer there, on the right. But yeah, no, I don't really understand what kills you versus what kills your ship. Oh, I gotta watch out for the bubbles. Man, those those things that repel you are just not great. So yeah, I think that just uh, lost another ship, and I think uh, we got a game over here. So it seems like there's some enemies that will destroy your ship, some enemies that will uh, kill you. Okay. Uh, so we got a sword, so uh, we get to be a hero of Earhart. All right. Let's try it again. Not sure how much more we're gonna see, but yeah. I'm enjoying this game. Despite the uh, somewhat uh, frustrating enemies at times. I think the progression is sword, goblet, harp, prince. And for the prince, I think you have to defeat like every enemy type at the end. Okay. Oh man. 
Like, just uh, gotta be real precise with your controls. If you don't get the sword, you don't get on the leaderboard. But yeah, I like the reflections. I like the attention to detail in this game. The controls are a little bit weird, but they're still fair, if that makes sense. It takes some getting used to. There's some momentum that's it's a big factor, but uh, overall they're still fair, I think. If I, if I was used to these controls, I would be doing better. Let's let's put it that way. But I'm not used to these controls, so uh, yeah, this is, this is kind of where we're at. <laughs> let's try it again. See if we can get back to the goblet. Oh wait, where's the where to go? Okay, there. Was that it? I don't know if this is it. I think we can still bump into that to find our way back, but let's see if we can go back on our own. Is that anything? Okay, that's that's through the Guardians. Okay, so I think... Can we get another bubble out of there? Or no such luck. Hey, Guardians. Give me another bubble. Okay, anyway... Well, we lost it, so I think we can go back to that and defeat some enemies, and if this is not it, it doesn't give us the sword, then it'll, it'll take us back and we'll get some bubbles again, but... Okay. It's really the pod kitchen. I feel like it's a little bit more precise in some cases than... I don't know if we're going to pull a sword out here or not. Let's find out. No, it took us back to this little, like, bonus level thing, I think. I don't think we got the sword. So we'll just have to do this, and then we'll have to get another bubble, and then... Okay, no, it just took us back here. Okay. There we go, okay. Gotta make sure we follow the light. The light is your guide. Okay. Not sure what this guy is doing. I think he's a bumper type enemy, maybe. So yeah, on this first first objective, you don't have to deal with any enemies that have multiple pods coming out. So that's nice. We'll grab the sword here. And then we'll do the bonus level thing, and then we'll get back to the Guardians. Let's get on it. Maybe at some point I should try to actually see if you can get back to the Guardians without having to do this, but... Eh. Oh, he's bumping the pod. That's, that's not nice. Okay, just barely got that bot, okay. I 
I don't know if the bumper type enemies can kill you. Seems like sometimes they can. Maybe I don't know what the mechanic is there. Anyway, let's do this. Hopefully, I can get an extra life to give us a little bit of uh, padding. Let's see if I can get these three. All right, I think I got them, okay. I should get an extra life here. And a request for a goblet. Oh wait, no, that's not what I need to do. I was like, please give me another bubble. Okay, there we go. Thankfully, those bubbles do not kill you like the other bubbles that come out of the enemies. That'd be a little bit harsh. Okay. I think also, as long as you don't have repel enemies, the repel enemies are just no fun to deal with. Although the bubblers can kill you, so there's there's that. It's really the the precise control for getting those little pods. Kind of a little bit a little bit finicky at times. Especially when you're under pressure and there's bubbles that can kill you nearby. So I think this guy is going to have two pods come out. And usually they die and leave, like, I think four bubbles behind, so just to make it a little extra challenging. Because those bubbles are always near the pods. Okay, okay. So. We should be good to get the goblet here. And we'll go through another similar but slightly different sequence this time for the extra life. I think I think the enemies change maybe. Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh well, they got me. Got my ship. Uh, can I just give them the goblet back now? Be like, hey. Return the goblet. Okay. So I lost my ship. I still have the goblet. And I still have to go through one of these sequences so I can get back to the guardians to return the goblet. So let's try it. See what, I, see what enemies I wound up with this time. Gotta stay away from these guys. Okay, I don't know where his pod went. Okay. Man. I think they're also, uh, like, sucking you in or something. They're... There's something going on there. But, yeah. I think we might have lost our goblet. Do this game over here. Be back on the on the scoreboards here. But, uh, yeah. That's Earhart. And I think that's going to do it uh, here for Earhart with us on Waza Day. A uh, really interesting title. And I'll uh, see you tomorrow for our next Waza Day.